What is cognitive science? As we covered in our previous video, it is the holistic study of the mind that pulls from other disciplines, namely philosophy, psychology, linguistics, neuroscience, anthropology, and computer science. Each subfield of cognitive science aims to answer different questions about the mind, like how does culture and shared knowledge influence the way people interact with and perceive the world around them? What are ways that we could teach machines to mimic the way humans process information? How does language learning come so naturally to infants? Or when life presents us with two paths we could go down, it's amazing that we're able to pull from our past experiences as well as predict future events to make an informed decision. Or that we could visualize numbers in the form of graphs and equations. We are able to perceive the flower in front of our eyes and admire its color, texture, and inherent beauty. These high-level processes all link back to some network in our brains. Neuroscience aims to decode and uncover the mysteries behind the underlying hardware that makes all of this possible. Neuroscience is a study of the nervous system, which largely involves the brain. Understanding the brain's anatomical structure is crucial towards mapping out the functions of each part. It allows us to get a better picture of how neurons wire together to form an incredibly complex network, and how these neural circuits give rise to those high-level processes that humans can perform. What distinguishes neuroscience from other disciplines, and how could cognitive science borrow from its research methods? Neuroscience tends to take a more biological approach to studying the brain in order to answer questions concerning the physical mechanisms behind behavior. Neuroscience research tends to use animals like mice to study the brain's anatomy and physiology, since it turns out that mice brains share quite a few similarities with human brains. Neuroscientists also probe directly into mice brains to stimulate or observe the firing rates of certain regions as they perform tasks, like navigating physical space or learning and association. This way we could directly view and track neural activity. Scientists also delete gene sequences to create knockout mice in order to observe the effects of inactive brain areas. We could also observe neural activity with human subjects using neuroimaging techniques. Each have their own pros and cons, but in any case, it's amazing that these technologies allow us to look into our brains non-invasively. Neuroscience is clearly valuable to cognitive science's quest to better understand the mind. Their intersection lies in cognitive neuroscience, which studies the biological processes of cognition with a particular focus on neural connections. It uses theory from cognitive science while barring research methods of neuroscience, psychology, and computational modeling.